everyone. This rant is going to be about overly sensitive people. You know, the types of people who can't seem to differentiate the difference between a joke and a deliberate attack on themselves or a particular group or whatever the case may be. Or they just take a situation so seriously that they just can't even lighten it a little bit and just laugh. The whole, the whole um, inspiration to this rant is not only because of we've been dealing with these types of people, a lot of these people lately. Turn on the news, you'll see them everywhere. Go to school, you'll probably see plenty of them. It's like they can't laugh at anything. And if a joke is made about a serious situation, they think you're not taking it seriously or it's a deliberate attack or you shouldn't make a joke about it because this is a serious situation. You shouldn't make fun of it and stuff like that. But uh, aside from that also, what really nailed it in for me to really do a rant on this was um, my dad sent me an email that a friend sent him. It was a Halloween joke, and it pretty much depicts overly sensitive people to a T. So, uh, I'll read it to you guys right now. Let me find it. Here we go. Alright. Here's the joke. A bald man with a wooden leg gets invited to a Halloween party. He doesn't know what costume to wear to hide his head and his leg, so he writes to a costume company to explain his problem. A few days later, he received a parcel with the following note. Dear Sir, please find enclosed a pirate's outfit. The spotted handkerchief will cover your bald head, and with your wooden leg, you should be just right as a pirate. Very truly yours, Acme Costume Company. Oh, God. Acme? That's just a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> right, a cookie to the person who gets that reference. I don't know if the person who wrote this joke ever. Uh, y I, I'm I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm about to say. So let's just continue on before we waste much time. The man thinks this is terrible because they have emphasized his wooden leg. So he writes a letter of complaint. A week goes by, and he receives another parcel and a note which says, Dear Sir, please find enclosed a monk's costume. The long robe will cover your wooden leg, and, with your bald head, you should really look the par. Very truly yours, Acme Costume Company. <clears throat> now the man is really upset. Since they have gone from emphasizing his wooden leg to emphasizing his bald head, so again, he writes to the company another nasty complaint. The next day, he receives a small parcel and a note which reads, Dear Sir, we have tried our very best. Please find enclose a bottle of molasses and a bag of crushed nuts. Pour the molasses over your bald head, pat on the crushed nuts, stick the wooden leg up your ass, and go as a caramel apple. Very truly yours, Acme Costume Company. Now, uh, should I wait for all of you to stop rolling on the floor laughing? <laughs> anyway, but this jo the joke beautifully um, depicts how oversensitive people are. It's like the, the guy in the joke, first off. He's just overly sensitive that his head's bald. He's oversensitive that he has a wooden leg. And he want and you know why? Why can't you just, you know, wear a costume and just be able to laugh at it, laugh at your flaws, laugh at your Why do you ha why does everything have to be so serious, you know? Just why? What? Is a person with a wooden leg or any kind of prosthetic for that exam for that matter supposed to just sit or just sit being depressed and angry about their situation all day every day for the rest of their lives 
after they get the prosthetic, or it, even if they were born without a limb and ha had the prosthetic their entire life, are they just supposed to sit there stewing in their depression and their anger over their situation and assuming anyone who even so much as glances at them is immediately looking at their prosthetic and lashing out at them and just being generally pissed off about everything? Is that the way just... You know, that sounds depressing to me in general. Why? Can you just laugh at yourself? Laugh at your flaws? Laugh at your situation to lighten it? I mean, if you can't laugh at yourself, if you can't laugh at your situation, whatever the case may be, you're going to be in a, a very depressed person. I mean, I consider the bravest human beings alive to be people who have had serious matters like losing a limb happen to them and then just not sitting around being angry at the world over their situation. No, they're out doing something. I mean, there are people who have prosthetic legs and they run track and field. I bet plenty of you have seen that type of stuff and I congratulate them. Not just because, not because there are person with a prosthetic running track and field, but because they're not like some of the sour pusses we see these days, just stewing in their anger and their depression and just being generally pissed off about their situation. And aside from the guy in the joke, who can't just laugh at his, at his bald head or at his wooden leg, let's now take, for example... The per a person who's oversensitive reading the joke, for example. A person who's oversensitive might see this joke and say, that's not funny, you shouldn't laugh at prosthetic people like that, or you shouldn't laugh at bold people like that. It's a joke, and, per and it's emphasizing on how overly sensitive that type of person is. You know, it's funny, now that I think about it, a person reading this, if you can't really laugh at it, then you really are overly sensitive. And that joke is depicted right at you. And you should honestly laugh at yourself for taking it so seriously, because it's an obvious joke. Honestly, nine times out of ten, at least I've found, a person making a joke towards something whether it be a serious matter or whatever, is just trying to lighten the mood. They're barely, rarely ever deliberately tacking a group or you or anyone else, you know? It doesn't happen as much as you overly sensitive people make it out to be. Why can't we laugh at these types of situations? Why can't we laugh at our flaws? As human beings, we have flaws. What, are we supposed to just be angry that we have fl of, of our flaws, whatever they may be? Are we just supposed to be pissed off and angry about it our entire lives? I think the suicide rate would go up faster if that was the case. I mean, you guys... I, I, all right. Yes, there is racism. Yes, there is terrible things going on in the world. But if we can't laugh at it sometimes, if we can't lighten the mood sometimes, we're not going to get through it. Sometimes, have you ever heard the old saying, laughter is the best medicine? It is. It helps you lessen the depression and helps you get through the situation, whatever it may be, that much easier and that much better. I mean, I have flaws. Who the hell doesn't? And when someone cracks a joke at it, I laugh right along with them, because I know it's true. I mean, I'm in college, so I've been at the blunt of a few, you know, drunk jokes, because quite a, it's pretty well known that quite a few college students drink. So I have people, you know, coming up to, to me saying, Hey, how many Coronas you drink last night? And they know I don't drink. They know I don't drink, but they're just cracking a joke at the fact that I'm in college, and a lot of college students drink, not all, some. And, you know, yeah. 
it's just like if I come in tired and they and they do that, I just laugh right along with it because you know it's funny. It's not like they're say, they're deliberately attacking, saying that I drink because I'm in college. You know, I I I don't. I hope I'm getting clear. Anyway, you oversensitive people really need to stop thinking everything is an attack on you or other people. And you really need to get a sense of humor. Not every joke is someone not taking a serious situation seriously. If we can't lighten the mood and help ourselves along with it through the serious times by cracking jokes, the world would be a very depressing place to live in. That's all I gotta say. Let me know your thoughts on the whole thing.